Now, forewarn weather with exclusive cutting-edge technology to help keep you and your family safe. Well, before we turn the clocks back, we got to change the fan rotation. Yeah, we don't want to do confuse that. anybody. So listen closely to <laughs> yeah. Ashley because your ceiling fan, if you have one, needs to rotate in the right direction at certain times of the year. Well, and it's really important right now, too, because we're in that in-between, right? We mm -hmm. have the heat on, and now we might have the AC on <laughs> next week. And so if you're just trying to save money and just use the ceiling fan, this is a good way to remember this. So during the summer months, you actually want it to rotate counterclockwise. That's going to push the air straight downward, giving you more of what would be considered a wind chill effect. And so that's going to make you feel cooler at the surface because you know heat rises and it'll get trapped up in the ceiling. So in the winter months, you change the direction to clockwise. That's going to push the air down to the sides of the walls and eventually making it back to the floor, not giving you that straight downward wind chill effect to make you feel chilled in the winter months. So we're in the in-between right now, but we're getting awfully close to being at that time to change those ceiling fans from that summer setting to the winter setting. So if you have a counterclockwise fan, I think probably after next week, you're going to want to switch the rotation there. Right now, downtown Detroit, we have blue skies up above, not a cloud in the sky, and that sunshine sticking around thanks to high pressure. So temperatures on either side of 60 across the board, winds light, but out of the south. If you're heading outside and giving the dog a walk today, plan for the sunshine this afternoon, and we top out in the mid 60s, you'll want to grab the sunglasses. Let's talk more at the evening forecast, though, because folks will be out and about. Maybe you're grabbing dinner on a patio or heading to a high school football game. Local four game of the week is Wald Lake Western versus Mason. And so we're looking at close to seven or 60 degrees around kickoff, but we'll be falling to about 52 degrees by game's end. And this is going to be very close to what all of the forecasts look like for high school football across southeastern Michigan. So sunny skies will stay pretty clear. Sunset will be before game time. So let's also talk about just after sunset because there is going to be a comet going by, a very rare comet, and you still have a chance to see that over the next few evenings. So still looking close to the westerly skies, but by the time we get to early next week, you'll want to shift your attention after sunset towards the southwest to get a glimpse of that comet. Tonight, 40 degrees, clear skies, still on the chilly side, but not as cold. So outlying areas probably get into the upper 30s. By tomorrow afternoon, we're above average with all that sunshine 68 for the afternoon high we're heading out to the eastern central game it's a two o'clock kickoff 64 getting in the upper 60s by game's end but if you're heading to the michigan state game we'll be cooling off it's a night game 7 30 for that homecoming game 63 degrees at 7 55 by game's end so you have to find your favorite sweatshirt and jacket otherwise warmest day monday 74 staying around 70 all the way until next wednesday